Good afternoon. Welcome to Abby Talk Show. We are the host, Abby and Ben. <laughs> we invite our guests to join our discussion. Let me introduce our guest, Ariel, Hi. Jasmine, What? Are you kidding me? Of course I know. Today's topic is the help. <laughs> anyway, you guys read the book? Yes. So you must know the character. Do you know who is the woman? No, I don't know. No, I don't know. Um, Ariel? No. Miss um, Kitty okay. uh, is unlike anyone of Jackson City. She tried to write a book which quoted how white discriminates blacks or do unfair things to them. So she asked a lot of maids if they want to tell their own experience to her. Uh, eventually, Miss Kitty has succeeded to publish the book named The Hell. Thank you. Oh, the two women is so important. Mm, I agree. Okay, the first Emily. Uh, she is a capable and clever people. She has brought 17 five children and taking care of two years old child in Skeeter's friend's house. Uh, Nat. Millie is Evelyn's best friend. Uh, she is good at cooking and her spicy personality uh, makes her lose job frequently. Minnie is a person who speaks frankly and others speak without thinking. Uh, she also joined the plan of editing the book and with other two people to complete the book together. And who is the woman? Miss Lee Ford. and her best friend is Hilly and Skeeter. And she has she has one daughter, and and then May Mobley. But she is very responsible of her daughter and asks Evelyn to take care of her frequent frequently. Who is the woman? Uh, uh, Ariel! <laughs> uh, she is Minnie's host and Skeeter's friend, and she is very mean. That's it. And um, now I want to ask some questions. Okay, the first question. In the health, the white is criminated against the black. Do you agree this thing? This question, this question I want for Jack. <laughs> I don't know. I think everyone cannot choose his skin color. So I think You should look at Taylor and us, everyone. When you so talk. I think we shouldn't discriminate against each other, so I don't agree with it. Okay. Um, the second question, and uh, I want to realize why the white don't use the same bathroom with black. Jack, don't speak in. <laughs> Please stand up. <laughs> <laughs> I think 
Shanghai think they are very <laughs> noble, so they don't want to use the same bathroom with their back. Okay, the third question. Before you read this book, what type of book is your thing? Mm, this time I'm still going to project. Okay, please. <laughs> Um, before I read, read this book, I think this book is wrong. Question 4. How do you feel after you reading this book? Um, I think Ben is the Jack. Huh? Oh. So... Ben what? Where is Sam? Um... After I read this book, I think everyone shouldn't discriminate each other, no matter how great you are. How great you are? How great? Okay. Oh. Yes, Abby, Abby, can you tell me the summary of your health? Of course I can. The main character is Miss Skeeter, and she dreams to be a writer. But her mom thinks that get married is only what she needs to do. Um, other white people regard black men as a values. And Miss Gitter saw the unequal treatment, so she decided to decide to help them with no pay. In the end, Miss Gitter published her book and show what white women do to black men. Why? What? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to share the interesting part in the health. And maybe had a revenge on Hilly of by giving her a special chocolate pie. When Hilly is the pie, she asked me why the pie tastes so special and yummy. <laughs> Hilly said, because it had my purple in it. Eat my shit. Oh. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> read the novel. Okay. Sure. Wow. Wow. Oh, is that real? Yes. I mean, with that? No. no. Okay. Hey. <laughs> 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 Let us come. Let us invite Jasmine to compare with the help and the true life. <coughs> Hello, everyone. I'm going to talk about racial discrimination. In the United States and Taiwan, oh. Africa Americans were once discriminated. Were once discriminated. Uh, oh. Africa Americans was were once treated as slaves. Abolishing gas freedom after Civil War, but Ireland still and was still treated and very unequally. <coughs> Just like the story talk about, first, uh, Caucasian discri discriminated Amer African Americans. For example, uh, for example, they have to do house chores all day long, but and and then and then couldn't. Uh, they have to do house chores all day long without taking a break, and then 
uh, and then couldn't go to the same house, the same schools, restaurants, or swimming pools uh, with Caucasians. And then if they go took 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 a bus, if they took a bus, then you have to walk back walk to the back and to get the seats. It is very unfair. Later they bought it later they bought it for their civil right and won the battle and won the battle. Yes. Uh, in our daily lives. Nowadays discrimination is common is common in er, er, everywhere in the world. Just uh, take Philippines and Taiwanese for example. Taiwanese, some Taiwanese often treat them like slaves and not and don't respect them and don't respect them. Uh, don't respect them. Uh, <laughs> and but I think we shouldn't act like that. Uh, in my opinions, in my opinions, regardless of skin colors, nationalities, races, genders, sex orientations, everyone were born equally. So, so I think we show them how to respect, uh, <laughs> respect people from different cultures. Can you tell us what the culture in the story? Yes. Uh, okay, hi everyone. I'm going to talk the culture of the story. And it is racial, it is talking about racial discrimination. The white people who seem like blacks are born in slaves. And they are very excluded to do things together with them. Uh, but nowadays, do you think this song was appropriate? Jenny? Huh? <laughs> do you think that is appropriate? Josh? No. No. Okay, in my opinion, when I see a black people walk on the street, everyone wouldn't see him as a low class man anymore. Even want to talk to him for practice English, maybe. Thank you. Okay, our master is Ben. Okay, let me introduce the word. The first one, discriminate. Please repeat after me. Discriminate. Discriminate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's one thing to recognize a difference between things. Okay, the number two, maid. Maid. Uh, these words mean to a female servant, especially in a large house. The third one, the apartheid. Apartheid. These words mean to can receive equal treatment. Okay, number four, enemy. Enemy. These words mean to someone who hates you and want to harm you. Uh, the last one, treatment. Treatment. Uh, it means to the act or manner of treating. Okay. Uh, yes, time. It's an, uh, bro. <laughs> it's question time. Ding. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, question one. The classmates babu against him <laughs> because of the parents' divorce. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, Abby. Um, I guess it's B. Discriminate. Bingo. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, number two. Her bubble hair. Just up for the party. Okay, Jack. We can choose audience I think too. It's C. Matt. Okay. Uh, number three, he's talk about Babu creation. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows the answer? Who knows? 
brown. Please raise your hand. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. Okay, Johnny. Uh, uh, A. Okay, Ding Dong. Yay! He fell into a snare laid by his babu. Yes, the last question. The babu of woman is unthinkable.